Hello, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're making a drawstring bag. We're gonna show you how we do that. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cut out all of our fabric and we showed that on the first part of the video. And next, we're going to match up the panels and then we're gonna sew down three eighths of an inch. So all of, all of our seams we're going to be sewing three of an inch, three of an inch seam allowance. And here you see I'm using a magnetic gauge or a guide. Make sure you back tack at the beginning and the ends of all seams. Just make sure you back tap well. All seams. So this bag has multiple panels and you just want to keep matching opposite colors and again sewing each one three eighths of an inch seam allowance back tacking at the beginning and end of each seam. After attaching all the panels, then we're going to raise stitch or top stitch each one. And here I'm using a quarter inch compensating foot that uh, makes it real simple and easy to guide, get you a straight stitch every time. So here we're just top stitching one quarter of an inch. And you're gonna do this with all the panels, back tacking at the ends beginning and end of every scene. Okay, so let's give you a close-up shot of that compensating foot. Here's what the compensating foot look like. You can see that outer edge, the foot just riding right up against that seam. Very nice. Next step, we're gonna mark the top of our panels. And this right here is for our drawstring casing. So we mark the panels three eighths of an inch 
on each side and then we're going to press our casing or crease it line it up in between the marks and then we have the second casing we're going to do the same thing so we're going to press those ends making sure that both of them match and are aligned After pressing the ends of the casing, you're going to fold the casing in half and press. Make sure your edges, your raw edges are even. Just press that nice and flat. Do that to both the top or the, the front and the back casing. Nice sharp crease line. That's what you're looking for. And you want to make sure that they match, that they're aligned. Here, we're taking the end of the casing. We're matching it with the mark that we made, three of an inch. And we're just gonna clip the casing to the front panel and then the other casing we're gonna clip to the back panel. Here we're attaching our casing to the top edge of the front panel. We're gonna sew that one quarter of an inch, one quarter inch seam allowance. We're gonna do that for the front panel as well as the back panel. Next, we're going to press our loops. These loops are for our drawstrings. So we're going to press the bottom edge one quarter of an inch. We're going to do that to both pieces. And then the top edge, we're going to fold down roughly three eighths to a half inch. And then we're going to fold up the bottom, overlapping the top edge roughly a quarter inch and then we're going to give that a nice press and then just match up both loops and make sure both of them are even and are identical after that we're going to edge stitch one eighth of an inch both loops anywhere between 1 16th and 1 8th of an inch. As you can see, that's what we did here.
after pressing the loop, we fold them in half. Make sure that our measurements are correct because the next step we're going to attach them to the bottom of our panels. And for the most part, when you attach these, we're just going to one measure up uh, roughly two and a half inches from the bottom on each side. Make sure they're even. And then you're going to stay stitch the loops to the panel. Here I'm matching up the front panel to the back panel, making sure that the seams line up and also making sure that the casings line up and match. After that, we're gonna sew the side seams and the bottom hem uh, or the bottom part of the uh, drawstring back. Both of those we're gonna sew three so the next seam allowance. Again, make sure you back tack uh, at the beginning and ends of your seams. And here I also back tack the corners uh, just to reinforce them. And that's not necessary, but it, it doesn't hurt and it helps strengthen those corners. Okay, so this next step, we have a six and a quarter inch zipper, and we're using a nylon zipper, and we cut two pieces of lining that we are considering uh, zipper tabs that, that have stopped the zipper. And we're gonna sew each one of those zipper tabs to the end of the zippers, uh, one quarter of an inch. Here, we're taking our pocket lining and we're gonna sew it to the zipper one quarter of an inch. Back tack at the beginning of the end of each seam. Try to get into a habit of doing that.
Here we're ready stitching the lining to the zipper 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch. Next we fold up the bottom part of the lining and we're going to attach it to the top part of the zipper, sewing it one quarter of an inch, back tacking at the beginning and the end of the same. After sewing that seam, we're going to trim our zipper tie pieces even with our seams on the side and also the top of the lining and then after that we're going to turn our lining inside out and we're going to raise stitch the top portion of the seam where that uh the top zipper the top, the top portion of the zipper we're going to raise stitch Okay, so next we're going to fold our, our top lining so there's roughly three inches and we're going to notch each corner. Then we're going to turn our pocket inside out and we're going to fold it at the notches and then we're going to seam that with a three inch seam allowance. So fold from the top of the notch to the bottom of the pocket on each side with the three inch seam allowance to make sure we're back tacking at the beginning and the end of the seam. Now we're going to turn our pocket inside out, force out the corners, make sure your corners are forced out real nice. And then after that, we're going to put a stitch, a top stitch, uh, approximately one quarter of an inch from the raised stitching at the top portion of the pocket to close that off and finish up our pocket. Then we're going to bag our lining so we match up the, the back and the front of the lining uh, both good sides touching each other uh, make sure your edges are even and we're going to seam all the way around the side seams and the bottom leaving an opening at the bottom roughly six or seven inches um, and back tacking well at the beginning in the stitches bagging that lining 
And I think I said the same amount, it's all the way around this three of an inch. Now we're going to turn our lining inside out and we're going to get our iron and we're going to press those seams real nice. Make sure you force out your corners also and just press the seams flat. Here we use a bone folder to force out our corners. In this step, we place our bag inside of our lining. And then we're going to take our pocket and we're going to place that roughly two and a half inches away from the side seams. After that, um, we're going to match up the side seams of our lining with our bag side seams. And then we're going to clip both of those together all the way around. Now we're going to attach the lining to the bag, sew it all the way around with a 3 fence seam allowance. Now we're going to burp our bag or we're going to pull our bag through that opening that we left and we'll sew that up last. But we're going to gently pull that through. turning our bag inside out. Next step, we're going to take our rope or our drawstring and we're going to feed it through one side of our casing. We're going to feed that through all the way around. And that tool that you see me using is a, that's called a botkin, uh, but of course you can use a safety pin or something 
um, to fit those through. Next, we're feeding our drawstring through our loop. And all we're gonna do is grab those and not put a knot in it or tie them off just to secure them to the bag. So of course we gotta start all over again, but this time we're gonna feed the second part of our drawstring to the opposite end of our casing tunnel. We're gonna feed that through all the way around, just like we did in, in the, with the first one, only it's gonna be on the opposite side. And then of course, after we get that fed through, then we're gonna feed it through our looper and we're gonna tie that off as well. And it's coming up. And now we're coming down to the home stretch. Just make sure that you tie these off real good and secure. And there you have it. And we'll give you a few glimpses of what this bag looked like when it's finished. So of course, we'd like to thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel. Until the next video, take care.